All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do uh, to start this project off is something called scaling. Okay, so the purpose of scaling is to get our drawing surface, all right, proportional to our original. So if this is my original and this is my drawing surface, I need to make this piece of paper proportional to this piece. All right, now I can do the math and I can measure this and make sure that this is the right measurement and do, the, do, you know, do all that, or I can do something much quicker, much easier, all right, and in a lot of ways much more efficient. So what I can do is I can line the bottom corner, bottom left corner up of both pieces of paper, all right. Then I take my ruler and I line my ruler up with the bottom corner and the top right corner of my original, all right. I'm not worried about the piece of paper right now. I'm worried about my original. So the top corner, bottom left corner of my original, I draw a line that extends off that all right, if I, depending on the length of my ruler, I'll have to slide it over, all right, and continue that line. And I'm going to continue that line until it runs off the page. So in this case, it ran off the right side, okay. Now what I need to do is I need to measure this distance, okay. So I take my ruler, and I come up here, and I see that we are 2 and 1 16th away from the edge. All right, and I want to be as as precise as possible with this. All right, so I come over here, I go two and one sixteenths. I make a mark, and I line up where that where this diagonal went off with this mark that I just made. Draw a line straight across. All of this is now scrap. Okay, so what I have is I've got now a drawing surface that is proportional. To my original okay it's that easy all right we're gonna keep this on here for the beginning we're gonna keep this this scrap stuff on here for now because we can use this area to test out colors and stuff all right but we're gonna just that that there that area will get cut off at the end of this project okay so we're only working from here down all right so that is how easy scaling is all right and then I'm gonna walk you through gridding and then using the grid to draw Okay, so now we're going to do gridding. All right, so we've got this paper scaled. We've got our scrap area that we're not going to worry about, and we already got this draw this line on here that's going to serve as part of our X. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do use the X grid just like we've used in the flag, and in some cases, the candy wrapper. Okay, I apologize for the lights going on and off. All right, what I need to do is I need to finish that X. All right. Remember, I'm going to do an X, then a cross, then a diamond, okay? So for this one, I need a little bit longer ruler. So I want to go corner to corner. Again, I'm only dealing with my drawing surface, okay? I'm not worried about this, all right? This area up here is just scrap. doesn't mean anything to us. Now, you're going to see I'm making my lines dark so you can see them. You're not going to want your lines dark. You want them as light as possible, all right, so that you can see them, but... You can erase them easily. All right. Now, what we can do is we can lay our ruler as straight as we can get it here. Okay. We can line up the bottom edge of our ruler with the bottom edge of our paper. But if we want to be really precise with it, all right, then I can come and say, okay, this is nine and or I'm sorry, eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters is also eight and six eighths. So now I can go and say it's going to be four and three eighths would be my center. So I go one, two, three. Make a mark at three eighths. Now, if I line that mark up with the center of my X, I know I have a straight line all the way across. Okay. All right. So now I go to do the side. All right. If I want to be as precise as possible, I go and I see that this is nine and seven eighths. So half of that would be four and fifteen sixteenths. All right. So I go and make a mark at four and fifteen sixteenths. Line up that point with the center of my X, draw that, okay? Now, like we learned from the flag, we go X cross diamond. So we're gonna take the corners of these of this cross, connect those together,
All right, now we've got our, our grid. All right, now I've already gone ahead and done the same grid on here. All right, doing the grid on here and not doing it on here serves absolutely no purpose. They have to be the same. The paper has to be proportional. That's why we scaled it. The grid has to be the same. If I was to, you know, break this down further, all right, if I was like make a mark halfway on this line, I'd have to make a mark halfway on this line. Whatever I do here, I have to do here and vice versa. Okay, so that's the, the scaling and the gridding. Next, we're going to move on to actually drawing this thing out. Okay, so if we're going to draw this picture to this grid, all right, um, we want to focus on grid space to grid space. So everybody's going to do this a little bit different. Some people are going to have to break things down much further than others. All right, I'm going to show you how to break it down entirely, how to break it down a little quicker, and then how to pretty much eyeball it. Okay, so if we're going to draw this triangle, all right, it's going to go here. All right, so if I want to know where the first things I want to know is where does this, where does his hair cross that line and where does it cross this line? Okay, so I can say, okay, it's probably going to be about there that it's going to cross. Or I can come in here and I can say, okay, if I break things in half enough times, I'm likely to find where I want to be. So if I break this line in half and then break that in half, all right, I can see I'm pretty close to that. So if I come here, break that in half, I'd actually be moving the hair up a little bit okay I can also take my grid and physically break my grid down further all right and I can use you know use those X's to line up and I'm basically going to make myself another X cross diamond however far I need to go with it all right and you can see there that I'm, I'm slightly off in my guesstimate, okay, all right? And I can keep doing this. I can keep breaking things down, all right? I don't want to use my grid for that. So if I go I get half and half, again, I'm a little bit above it. So I'm, I'm in the right spot, all right? So I know it's going to leave the hair, leave there around there, all right? Same thing down here. I can break this down, all right? Or I can say, okay, half, 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 all right? So I take this, I break it in half, I break that in half, I break that in half. That's about where it's going to go off. All right, so just by making those two things, I know his hair is going to go somewhere like this. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to draw this thing, you know, exactly how it's laid out. All right, but the main part that matters the most, all right, especially with more abstract areas like, like hair, all right, is how does it fit the other grid space, all right? Whether I mess up a little piece of hair here or there that's not connected to anything else is not going to make or break me, okay? But what will is if that's not in the right spot or this isn't in the right spot, all right? So I draw that. And then I would go from there and I would, I would carry into the next grid space, all right? And going by this, I can see that right about there is where this, this arc is gonna take me to, right? And I can come up here and say, okay, it's gonna cut through here and it's gonna touch the, the grid line here, all right? So I can get like a rough idea there, right? And then just start drawing in that hair the way it's actually supposed to be. As you do this thing, all right, what you don't want to do is you don't want to focus on, even though I keep saying hair, you don't want to focus on hair, you don't want to focus on an eye, you don't want to focus on the nose, you want to focus on this shape that you're doing, or this shape that you're doing, or this shape, or this shape, because all it is when we're getting, when we're getting that close to it is just a bunch of random shapes. It's not until we step back and have the whole thing done that we actually see the whole face put together. Okay, but that's how you want to break it down in the grid. Again, you can do it fully. You can keep breaking things down really, really precise. You can kind of just loosely break things in half, or you can eyeball it. All right, but I would do one of one of those three. All right, more likely the middle one, as far as just breaking things in half. At the bare minimum, I would do that. Okay, and then once you've got this whole thing done, then we're going to erase the grid, and then we'll talk about how we're actually going to paint these things. Okay.